Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. Create a lot of content for MSPs. Today's video is an extension of a little series you have created here for some scripts I've written to automate the documentation of your customer 365 environments in Synchro. This video will be highlighting Intune in that Intune report you guys saw in the initial video. Before I get started here, if you do want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so getting into it here, again, this repository I'll link below. It's got all the scripts here that I wrote for automating this documentation and gathering this information across your customer environments. As far as the Intune report goes, I'll just scroll down to show a sample here. In this section, we show some high-level data, and this encompasses a compliance summary. So looking at all the devices that are enrolled, which are in a grace period, which are in a compliant state, which are in a non-compliant state, high level, just number figures there. Then we show a table with all of the active devices that are enrolled, includes Windows, iOS, Android, and Mac OS operating systems. You can see the ownership type, whether that's corporate or personal. You can see the OS version. You can see if it's in a compliant state or not the user who's been signing into that device, if it's autopilot enrolled, if it's part of that service, and also if it's encrypted with File Vault or BitLocker in the sense of Mac or Windows. The final section here is looking for all applications that you've added to the portal as well here too to list them. And it is looking for ones that are actually assigned in the assigned state. So it's a pretty cool comprehensive report just to pull in all that device information, app information from Intune, just so you can have that in the compliance side of the things here. It could be something that you use for auditing purposes, things like that in the future. Before I get into the actual script here, the prerequisites again are that you do have to run the scripts from Kelvin over at CyberDrain for the secure application model so that you can actually generate these access tokens and GUIDs that you'll need for this headless authentication across your customer environments. Additionally, in Synchro, you're gonna to need to get an API token with the necessary permissions for us to call and use Synchro's REST APIs, as well as the subdomain that you use to sign in with for your account. These are kind of all the keys that you need to actually create the connection and have the necessary permissions to call, read and write this data that we're interacting with here. So as far as the documentation here goes for the scripts, this is looking at, again, all of the parameters being your keys and GUIDs for creating this headless authentication into the customer environments. And then on the Synchro side, being able to pull this data in and read and write this data uh, for documentation within that platform. We're checking to make sure the MS Online module is installed. And then we're defining the secrets here as well too. I've added this in here because this is highly important. So really take note of this. The app that's registered when you run the script for the secure application model isn't going to be set up by default with these permissions here. And these are permissions that I need or you would need in order to be able to read the device information and the device app information as well. So that is, it has to be included as far as the permissions goes. And I'll show you that real quick here within one of my test tenants. So I'm here within an Active Directory environment where I ran that script against, and I'm here within the API permissions of the app. Now to get here, you just simply go to Azure Active Directory, you go to app registrations, you go to all applications, and you'll find that app that you registered. You actually define this name when you set up that script. It'll ask for your display name, and this is what you put in. So when you click on this, you'll go click into API permissions, and then you'll have these permissions listed here. What you'll want to do is click on add permission, and then you'll add the necessary permissions I mentioned in there. Uh, for the delegated rights or the application permissions. And then after you do that, you're going to go ahead and grant consent for your tenant here so that you have the necessary permissions to actually run these scripts against that. So just keep that in mind. Next here, I got the Synchro Secrets. Same kind of scenario where I'm defining the permissions here you need to apply to the API. Within Synchro, this is very straightforward. They're just checkboxes. So that is something you can do within the Synchro portal. From there, these are the same functions I have in every single script, pretty much, where we're able to then 
get information about our documents, create documents, get our customers, things of that nature. This one here though is getting all of our customers and it's looking for that unique email on file based off of what's on that profile. We're just parsing out the actual domain of the email address so that we can map that against what the domains are within Partner Center to perform a soft match. So that has to be in place for you to be able to do that. Um, and then here what we're doing is we're connecting to Microsoft via our tokens and then we're looping through all of our our customers within Partner Center to perform these scripts, or at least try to, if we can create all the necessary matches. So in this particular case, we're getting some tokens here to run the graph APIs from Microsoft and pull in this information. And then we're going to try to get the Intune information if it's a possible. And I say if because not all tenants are going to have Intune licensing, or in some cases, you're not going to have given the proper permissions. So this is going to prompt you with that messaging here so you can evaluate yourself. Oh, wait, do I need to go add permissions because I didn't and I forgot that step? Or two, does this tenant even have Intune licensing for this to be applicable? So keep that in mind. If it doesn't, it's just going to spit that out for that customer and move on to the next one. So um, essentially there, you know, it'll, it'll just skip over people that or customers that don't have the correct licensing. So then I say, you know, if there's any devices whatsoever, we're going to go ahead and run the rest part of the script, which is mapping the customers from Synchro to the customers we have in Partner Center. We're going in and we are getting all the documents, saving them to a variable. And we're saying if we perform that soft match with the customers, then I'm going to go ahead and define my body of what I'm going to put into a document. I'm going to customize it into some HTML so it looks pretty. And then I'm going to say, if the name already exists, then it's it's already existing in the documentation standpoint. So I made these scripts again for looking at, one, creating documentation that new, but also if it's existing documentation, updating it with fresh information when you run these periodically. So we're saying if the doc doesn't exist, which is why this exclamation point is here, then we're going to go ahead and create this page within Synchro, create this document within Synchro. But if it does exist, we're just going to update it with this new body with the new information. And you'll see that by the, the, the update times in Synchro as well. So again, these are the fundamental steps you need to follow for this. As far as any error handling goes, I think the biggest thing you'd run into is the permissions with the app. So that's everything I want to showcase for you guys in this video. Get in, like, or subscribe if you have any desire to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. And be sure to comment below with any questions if you have them. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.